Hello my dear friends and welcome to my channel. My name is Barbara and today we're going to be looking at Jupiter in Leo. So this video is for you if you have this particular placement, if you're a cross watcher, welcome as well. So Jupiter in our natal charts deals with the abundance, how we might bring through abundance wealth, how we might bring through wealth and generate wealth. Although abundance can also be you being abundant in other areas of your life doesn't always necessarily just have to be money and monetary gain. Although absolutely it can be. Jupiter also in our natal charts is going to tell us the area where we might indulge in. It's also going to be the area it's expanding. Now keep in mind Jupiter is also the higher mind and higher learning. So wherever you have Jupiter in your natal chart, it could also be a way that you guys might come across as teachers, what you guys might be interested in teaching, what sort of knowledge and higher mind and wisdom that you guys might be sharing with the crowd, with people, with the masses. I mean with Jupiter and Leo, we're getting a little bit ahead of ourselves already here, but you guys are always dreaming big and you guys are always thinking big. Now one more thing also for the Jupiter energy is what I've noticed is it is also the area where you guys can push boundaries in compared to other people. So sometimes you guys might get away with things in this particular area. So I'll get into that shortly. Leo overall as an energy is the sun. So they're here to shine. So when you have Jupiter and Leo, you guys need to be seen. That is the name of the game for you guys. You need to be seen in one way, shape or form. No matter what it is that you guys are doing, you need a stage. That's the thing with the Leo energy. Leo needs a stage. If they don't have one, they will definitely create one for themselves. So I always say that for Leo energy. So if they're not getting that energy, the positive, Positive energy, the good vibes, the high vibrations, the kind of positive energy that they're putting out there and also the recognition they're getting in return, this energy might fall into drama, especially because Jupiter is expanding this for you guys. So it's like we have the positive and the negative side of all of the signs. And at the end of the day, we want to see what our strengths are in our natal chart and see how we can take advantage of these particular areas. Obviously, everything always depends on the natal chart as a whole. This is going to be just one placement in the overall natal chart. Jupiter and Leo overall, you guys are probably going to be interested in something of this sort, okay? Being seen, whether that is acting, comedy, improv, stand-up comedy, things like being a comedian, making people laugh, being on a stage in this way, teaching. Jupiter and Leo could be interested in teaching. This energy could also be very good with children, so maybe teaching like kindergartners. Once again, it's going to really depend on the rest of the natal chart, but because Jupiter is in a way the teacher, you guys are going to be teaching something. There's some sort of wisdom here that you guys are either teaching directly or indirectly. Maybe it's just through you guys being yourselves, you're teaching people the way of life, for example. Let's say you guys started your own business, you guys could probably be really interested in entrepreneurship as well. But you do have Jupiter and Leo. Now, what I will say though for Leo energy in terms of entrepreneurship is that you guys have to be either the face of the company, number one, in that spotlight. Okay, you guys can't be kind of like a background actor. You guys have to be one of those top people in the front where people are seeing you guys as the maybe representative of the company, as the creator of the company, things of this sort. Or if it's your own company, well, then you guys are just going to be the face of your own company. But again, you guys can't really do things where you're hidden. Keep this in mind because that Leo energy energy still needs to be seen. So it's going to have to be a company where either you're engaging with people or you're presenting about the company or something of this sort. It can't be something like you're in the background and kind of creating it from behind the scenes. It's very much a forefront energy for that Jupiter and Leo energy to be satisfied and also for Jupiter and Leo to bless you with even more abundance. Now, with that being said, you could definitely make money through all of these things that I've mentioned. So teaching, entrepreneurship, acting, anything really creative, you guys are going to definitely be blessed in the area of creativity. The Leo energy is always very much young at heart. You guys are very funny, probably as well. Anything that kind of connects you either with that own inner child or you guys are working with children in one way, shape or form. Maybe you're a teacher. Maybe you guys are doing something like entertainment for children or putting on plays or overall plays and theater, whether it's for children or not. You guys are definitely going to be interested in all of these types of vocations, careers, because Jupiter is definitely going to be blessing you guys. Now the undertone for this energy was interesting with the Leo energy overall. I know in astrology, people always say that it is all about the heart. And yes, for you guys, it's like, this is where you guys are generating that energy from, from doing what you guys love. That's what's going to be really, really important for you guys. It's going to be really important that no matter what you guys do, you have your whole heart in that particular thing. And then Jupiter is going to bless you guys. But what I've noticed also with Leo energy overall, I personally find that sometimes this energy deals with the solar plexus chakra as well. Now this isn't a rule of thumb. This is just something that I've noticed and how I've personally compartmentalized the energy. The energy of Leo can really struggle with the solar plexus chakra. So what do I mean by this? So even though you guys can be blessed in the area of maybe having confidence, maybe being super 
super confident, maybe jumping into things and people around you are like, oh my gosh, like where did you get the courage to do that thing and put yourself out there in that way? Even though you guys can be blessed in this area, you guys could also struggle with it as well, which is really, really interesting. Sometimes, let's say Jupiter and Leo, you guys are going to know deep down inside, like I can do that thing and I can really see myself doing that thing, whatever it is. Maybe it's getting like the lead in a movie or a play or whatever creative venture you guys are doing. Like you guys are probably gonna be like, I know I can do it. I know I can inspire people. Things like motivational speaking are definitely going to be something of an interest for you guys. I've also seen politicians have Leo energy in their natal charts as well, because it's kind of like that vibe where you're on a throne. That's the thing at the end of the day, like you guys need to be on some sort of throne. So it's going back to what I was originally saying about creating that stage for yourselves these days with the internet. You're blessed with the internet. It's very easy to create a stage for yourselves, but there's that solar plexus chakra going on. Sometimes you guys might have a fear of rejection, for example, and that could be holding you guys back. And it's like Jupiter is expanding this area. So it's like, you kind of want to jump over that hump or jump over whatever maybe your doubts might be. Because it's like, if you guys go more and more into like the shadow, let's say of Leo, of like fear of rejection or fear of just putting yourselves out there or fear of being seen, well, Jupiter is going to expand it in that negative area as well. So keep that in mind. Obviously it depends on the rest of your natal chart. Another thing that the Leo energy can also struggle with is their ego. So sometimes ego is on a huge range. Okay. I know sometimes when we hear ego, people right away think of you're full of yourself or you have a really big ego. Yes, you could struggle in that way, but sometimes like the energy can also struggle with like knowing that they're supposed to be number one right away or be that main character right away. And then when they don't get it, they might get discouraged and they might go into their shell. So you guys can struggle with the ego in this way as well, or just like doubt or self-worth, like that's all sort of plexus chakra in the shadow. You guys could really have these struggles within, but honestly, all I can say is, first of all, you only get one life. Second of all, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. So it doesn't matter what people are thinking or saying, as long as you guys kind of feel like you're doing what you guys are meant to be doing in this situation, it is something that I've already previously mentioned, motivational speaking, speaking of some sort of teaching, teaching something, sharing something, maybe sharing some sort of wisdom of what you guys have learned, something creative, whether it's dance, it really depends on the rest of the natal chart. It could be politics. It could be stand-up comedy. It could be anything really where you guys are leading entrepreneurship, starting your own companies. That's kind of like that whole vibe with this energy is like really just having that belief in the self. And it's interesting because it's like maybe in certain areas of your life, you guys are really confident. And then maybe in certain other areas of your life, you guys might have that doubt where it's like, no, I could do it but something's holding you guys back. Well, in that situation, you'd probably have to go deep down inside and see what's going on. Maybe it's doubt, maybe it's one of these things. If you guys are working maybe in a more structured environment, again, it depends on the rest of your natal chart. Maybe you have more Virgo placements or Capricorn placements. Well, in that situation, you guys are probably gonna want to climb to the top. You guys are probably gonna wanna be the managers or the team leads and then eventually get higher and higher and higher. And probably for you guys, I mean, honestly, when you have Jupiter in Leo, like the sky really is the limit here because Jupiter is expanding this area for you guys once again don't fall into the shadow of Jupiter and Leo. So what I was saying earlier about pushing boundaries is like with Jupiter, there's certain areas that people can get away with that maybe other people who don't have that placement wouldn't be able to get away with. So what do I mean by this? For example, Jupiter and Leo, let's say you guys are in school, okay? You're in your university, college, undergrad, whatever it is. You guys are in school, maybe even high school, whatever it is. So you guys are in school, Jupiter and Leo could maybe potentially spend the entire night partying, for example, or out. And the next day, you are still going to be able to do really well on your test. Whereas maybe your friend was with you, they don't have Jupiter and Leo. They were out the entire night. Maybe the next day they slept in or maybe the next day they just didn't perform well on their test. This is what I mean because Leo also does deal with fun. It's expanding the area of fun. You guys are definitely gonna be super fun people to be around. You're always gonna wanna have fun. That's when that Leo energy is like being pumped, that excitement for whatever it is, for life, for your passions. That's the thing though with Leo energy. Sometimes for them, it's also a little bit of a struggle because it's like sometimes it's hard for them to start something and I don't mean in terms of initiating something like they will initiate things because again you have the confidence you'll jump into it it's the fire it's the passion but sometimes if they're not getting the results that they feel like they deserve or the recognition or maybe even that audience the energy might kind of like go into their shell and like kind of feel insecure in a way you know because it's like in a way the Leo energy also feeds off the crowd is important to keep in mind but it's like sometimes to get to the crowd or like create that crowd that you guys are seeking well sometimes it might take a little bit more work so this energy might be a little bit of a challenge in the beginning because it's like you guys really feed off the crowd or like the recognition or like the love of the people that you guys are working with and it's really challenging to have that in the beginning for anything anything that you're
that you're starting, you're always gonna start at zero. Everybody always starts at zero. That's something important to keep in mind, but it's a struggle for Jupiter and Leo or just Leo energy overall, because it's like right away, the energy wants to have a crowd. Right away, they wanna have the praise and get that top position. This is something that I talk about with Leo energy a lot of the time. Let's say you guys are interested in acting or whatever it is. It depends on the rest of your natal chart. I will say that much, but sometimes this energy knows that it can get that top position right away. It feels it deep down inside, but there's certain rules on this earth plane, unfortunately. Sometimes certain things take work. Sometimes it's like persistence. Sometimes it's a numbers game, like constantly trying, trying, trying until you get to that goal that you want to get to. So it's really all about perseverance at the end of the day. And then I'm sure after the entire journey, you guys will come back and be motivational speakers in one way, shape or form, kind of try to uplift the crowd around you with like, this was my struggle. And you know, this is how it started. And now I'm here, like all these types of stories very much Jupiter in Leo energy and you would be surprised because it does deal with that solar plexus chakra I have heard sometimes some Leo people say that they are shy this is something that can happen with that energy it's kind of what you guys are working on developing and building a solar plexus chakra that internal like power within and belief in yourself and confidence but obviously not being overconfident there's such a fine line it's really what that is like there's such a fine line between confidence and then going into just like being overly confident sometimes sometimes that could be a blind spot when you're overly confident another thing that I also wanted to say for this energy is like because it deals with that ego it's like sometimes the energy doesn't like being told what to do working below people it's the energy of like i'm the king or queen of the castle like you're in my castle but keep in mind you don't want to go into the overindulgent aspect of leo either okay where it's kind of like maybe you're just partying all the time doing things for fun all the time you lose kind of like the goal the end goal in mind maybe you guys are overindulging when it comes to your relationships it's interesting because the leo energy is always really really attractive but they're also really really loyal at the same time I'm, again, heart chakra. So they really do love something or someone, they are loyal, they're invested. But up until that point, maybe there could be a little bit of overindulgence energy here, maybe even overindulging in sex as well. That's something that Leo can deal with as well. Like I mentioned, Jupiter is expanding this area for you guys, whether you're using it in a positive sense or in a negative sense as well. So with all of that being said, I'm going to wrap up this video here. I do hope you guys enjoyed my video on Jupiter and Leo. If you did, please do like, share, and subscribe. And I hope you all have a beautiful rest of the day.